This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. I'm Eric Miller, and this is Mariki Rebarrett. So this is Mariki Reed Barrett. Um, everyone knows her, everyone hates her. Ask her to play out, steal a creature, doesn't untap. If she does or I lose control of her, kill that creature. Start off with basic land package. I'm just sitting with two of each because I have a lot of other lands in here. Minamo is going to be one of the best ones because it will untap Mariki and it taps for a blue. Next, I'm running all three shock lands, all three dual lands, and all three fetch lands. This is to make sure that I get all of the colors that I need. Next, I'm just running a set of cycle lands. A nice early game if you need to play them out, and they also get you a card. Halmar Depths. It's always good in any blue deck. Running a tower, I don't really have a lot of draw in here, but when I do, it's big draw, so I want to make sure that I keep my cards. Next is just Command Tower, Arcane Sanctuary, and City of Brass are my three all-colored lands that I run. Buried Ruin is going to be important because I run a lot of artifacts. Same with Academy Ruins. Just ways to get artifacts back. Next, I have Seed of the Synod and Vault of Whispers. It's my artifact lands. I need the white one, but what are you going to do? Next is my copy lands. Thespian Stage and Vesuva are both great for copying my double lands. Multiple, any way that I can get lots of mana is what I want to copy. So I'm running Ancient Tomb and Temple of the False God. Just early ways to get extra lands, late ways to get extra mana. Lotus Veil vale is excellent to copy with Vesuva and especially Thespian Stage because Thespian Stage will already be in play and you don't have to sacrifice the lands for it. Also running all three of the bounce lands. Like I said, I want to get as much mana as I can. Next, I go into cards that are basically in here to affect Mariki. Pemanzara is amazing. It not only untaps her, but I can also give her Shroud. So it's protection and utility for the general. Conjurer's Closet. With Conjurer's Closet, I can the beginning of my end step, exile a creature and return it to play under my control. So if Mariki steals it, Conjurer's Closet can bounce the creature and I don't have to lose the creature with Mariki untaps. It's pretty nice. Thousand Year Elixir, again, a way to untap Mariki. It also lets me use her the turn she comes into play. Mangara is in here. Um, to go with the Thousand Year Elixir and any other ways that I can use to untap Mariki, I can also use them on Mangara to remove multiple permanents from the game. It's pretty good. Greaves, keep Mariki safe. Next is my tutor package. I'm running Enlightened and Mystical and Vampiric and Demonic. Any ways that I can go get any cards that I want in the deck. Academy Rector is in here for Omniscience. I will get to that later, but it is great. I can steal her with my own Mariki, untap Mariki, and go get Omniscience. Next is Extra Turn Package. Time Warp Temporal Mastery is really good with Mystical Tutor. Search it up, put it on top of my library, just pay my two for it. And a Temporal Manipulation in case anyone tries to bounce stuff back so that it hits them. Rite of Replication is in here 
to steal other people's win cons, basically. I can copy all kinds of th things, especially with the kicker. I can usually hit it with all of the mana ramp that I'm going to get to. Steven Doppelganger is great. It's a clone that changes every upkeep. Pretty useful. Image, not quite as useful with the new legendary rules, but still pretty good in the deck. Two drop clone is always good. The surprise clone is always nice also. I like this guy. He usually comes out morphed and then pop him up to trick people. I always think that he's my the counter spell mage, but he never is. More clone effects. Um, copy artifact will usually be copying uh, one of my mana ramp spells early game. Phyrexian Metamorph is very nice for utility. It can copy a creature or artifact. Next I get into my steel package. Um, Confiscate is great because it can steal any permanent. Mariki is very limited on just creatures. Thada Adele is great because she steals right out of the deck. Um, her island walk ability is pretty nice because play against a lot of blue players. Uh, choir is the same thing, but one-time use. Um, really nice steel blight steel colossus with that. Next, I have treachery, uh, free steel spell. Um, always nice when you're untapping your lands, especially if they're producing extra mana. Blatant thievery is really good late game, especially in multiplayer and stealing from everybody is great. Volition reigns again, just another permanent steal. Next, I uh, move on to board wipes. I uh, used to run a lot more than I do now, but I've cut it down to some important ones. Terminus is really nice because, again, you can Mystical Tutor, put it up top and Miracle it. Merciless Eviction mostly hits Planeswalkers. I don't think I've hit creatures with it once, um, but I can if I need to. Verdict. It can't be countered, and that's why it makes the cut over Wrath and Damnation. Next, I have spot removals. Um, Swords to Plowshares is really good. It's for generals or any creatures. Return to Dust, I feel, is a must in any white deck. Um, the ability to get two artifacts or enchantments removed from the game is amazing. Dust to Dust, again, a lot of people are always about artifact ramp, and a three drop that can get rid of two of them permanently is very nice. Path goes with swords. Now I get into the mana ramp. I have a lot of mana ramp in this deck with my artifacts. Um, start with the chalice and gilded lotus is a great card to copy with any of my artifact copies. Dark steel for any color. Mox opal. I can almost always have metal craft so it's really good for a zero drop. Chromatic Lantern is great in any multicolor EDH deck. Just being able to use that any mana. Um, I can tap one of my pain lands for just one color instead, which is very nice. Mana Vault, not quite a Sol Ring, but it's still got really good uses. Another Signet. Mind Stone, just a ramp and a be able, ability to draw is always good. And the last signet. Solemn Simulacrum is in here. Um, I don't have a lot of basic lands to search up. The draw ability works really nice if I steal them with Mariki um, and sacrifice them some way. Uh, and plus, he's just another body. And a Sol Ring. Everyone needs a Sol Ring. Time Spiral is amazing because, again, I have so many lands that tap for multiple lands when I'm untapping. I can end up making this a free time spiral at times. Omniscience is amazing. It hardly ever gets cast. It almost always comes out with the Academy Rector. Um, once this hits, it's really hard for anyone to recover from it. Mimic Vat is in here. It's great when I'm stealing creatures with Mariki and untapping her so that they die. I just steal it with Mimic Vat. Tamiyo the Moon Sage is one of the best planeswalkers in my opinion. Um, it's the way to lock down anything, and her ability, her ultimate ability is amazing, especially with Venser. 
These are the only two Planeswalkers that I run in the deck. Um, Venser can pop Mariki so that she'll come back in untapped and whatever I have dies. Um, and his emblem, just like Tamio's, is amazing. Sphinx's Revelation is not so much for the gain X life, but draw X cards. Another reason that I have Reliquary Tower. This usually hits pretty big. Palancron. Pent ties up with all of my multiple mana lands. He can get me infinite mana and pump into all kinds of good stuff. Snapcaster Mage is in here. Really glad that he rotated so that I could put him in here. Staff of Nin is in here. Just a way to draw an extra card. During my upkeep, I also think it's really good. Plus one damage can be way more than people look expect it to be. Rift is in here. It's great card. Um, bouncing everything back to everyone's hand is amazing. Top is in here to work with my two miracle cards. It's really nice to keep them shuffled so that I can draw them whenever I need to. And it's also a really good card. I do run Tezzeret. All right, I lied earlier. Tezzeret is in here mostly to search up my. Wincon, which I'll get to here in a second, and untapping all of that artifact ramp that I have. Consecrated Sphinx is a no-brainer in any blue deck. Now I get to my combos. I'm running Mind Over Matter with Arcanus and Otherworld Atlas because those are both infinite draw out my entire deck so that I can do whatever I need. Um, if Omniscience is in play, all the better. Mind Over Matter also works really good with Mariki. And finally, the real win con of the deck is Rest in Peace, Helm of Obedience, or Leyline of the Void. Um, exiling their entire deck is instant win. Uh, search up everything with all of your tutors and get it out there. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Favorite and subscribe.